I'm a shooting at a Metro Atlanta park just feet away from children and it's all caught on camera. Just a short time ago, we learned the suspect right there in this shooting is 37 year old William Moore. He's a former Atlanta Falcon safety released from the team in 2016. The shooting happened on Sunday afternoon at Alexander Park in Lawrenceville. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn is there live for us tonight. And Cody, you spoke with a woman who was inside her car when the man actually shot her door. Jennifer Ron, we just learned about this shooting a few hours ago. This woman says she was sitting in the car with her niece and son, both under 10 years old, when a gunshot rang out and the bullet hit her door. This woman is so shaken up, she asked we not identify her tonight. The victim says she brought her son and niece to Alexander Park in Lawrenceville after a birthday party on Sunday. She says her niece was playing with another little girl on the playground. Not long after that, I see them kind of playing tag, like slapping each other, not in the face, but like on the arm. The woman says she didn't think much of it until a few minutes later. Moments later, I hear a guy come out of nowhere. Yo, get your effing parents. So I'm looking around. She soon realized William Moore was talking to her niece. I'm like, excuse me, sir, because we're maybe 10, 15 feet within each other. I'm like, excuse me, sir, that's my niece. You know what's going on? You tell your effing niece to keep her hands to herself. She hit my daughter and I'm like, well, sir, I apologize. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. I thought they were playing. The woman says Moore continued to threaten her. And when she told him she was calling 911. I don't give a F about the police. I don't care. I'll be out of jail by the time you get home this evening. She says the dispatcher told her to get to her vehicle. Walk to the car. I then hear my niece say, auntie, he's following us. A short time later, my niece, is, auntie, he's behind us. Blocked in. The woman says that's when things started escalating and she was still on the phone with 911. And I told him, hey, this guy has me blocked in. I cannot go anywhere. Somebody needs to get here now. By this time, a woman had shown up. Then see the girl poking holes in my tire, flattening, trying to flatten my tire. At this moment, I'm like, OK, I got to get out of here because y'all are y'all are really crazy now. She says she couldn't get out. As soon as I hit his car, I heard the shot. The shooting caught on camera. Gunshot. Gunshot. He shot my driver door. He shot at my car. Fortunately, as you can see in this picture, the bullet ricocheted off the door. Just a wild and scary encounter for this woman. And again, these kids were just under 10 years old and an arm's length away from this gun and this shooting. And the victim says while they're physically OK, mentally she's worried about the son and her niece. She says they'll likely have to have some counseling in the coming weeks and months. But we can tell you tonight more remains locked up on several charges, including aggravated assault.